Hi guys, it's Sam and I'm back with another video for Lawn Fun. Today I am going to be using the new Dad Joke stamp set, not the dies, <laughs> the Magic Picture Changer add-on and regular die set, the Rarsum stamps and dies, um, and then I wasn't sure what I was going to use. I do end up using Puffy Cloud border dies and the Stitched Hills border dies and the Fancy Wavy Banners. Um, I don't use the grassy border, which I showed. I just wasn't sure at the time if I was going to use it. And then I also end up using some clouds from All the Clouds. And I stamp and color some graph tufts from Swan Sir Soiree. <laughs> Sorry, it's hard for me to say. And um, totally awesome. But again, I don't use those. So I'll just save those for another card. So I started by stamping the little birdies with their joke um, on two separate pieces of cardstock. Um, I made sure to stamp them separately and with plenty of room so that I can color them and then die cut them out and it won't interfere with any other images. And then on a separate piece of paper, I am stamping, like I mentioned, the clouds, the dinos, the grass that I don't use, but I don't know at the time. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just gonna start coloring my images. These little birds are so cute and tiny and cute <laughs> and I love love this new dad joke stamp set because it's hilarious <laughs> in every way and as soon as I read the this joke about the dinosaurs I knew I had to combine it with the Varsum stamp set and make a little dad joke card. <laughs> Who doesn't love that? <laughs> I'm using Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers to color all of my images. And as always, I spritz some water onto my craft mat on the side and get my water brush damp and use that to blend out the colors. I make sure my water brush is not dripping wet because otherwise it will um, really bloom the color and then it's not um, going to get, it's not going to look good. <laughs> Or it's, that's not true. It, you could, you know, use the blooming effect and it would be awesome, but it wasn't the look I was going for. How about that? <laughs> I'm coloring in all these clouds with two different shades of gray. First, I just use the darker shade in a few corners and crevices of the clouds. I use my damp water brush to pull the color out to the rest of the cloud. Then while it's still, the image is still wet, I use the dark, color again in the same areas with the lightest color to pull it out and that adds the shading and I when I'm coloring in my image either with the lightest marker or with my damp water brush I am using circular motions because otherwise it can get a little streaky for me but if I do it in a circular motion it keeps everything you know looking <laughs> smooth and blended <laughs> So here I am coloring the tufts of grass. Um, this is going to prove to be an issue for me because <laughs> I decide to color my pterodactyl little guy in like um, reds and oranges. And then I color my brontosaurus -y guy in um, like a minty color. And then I move to color my Triceratops in a limey green, and I just think, oh, I should do all of these dinosaurs in green. So even though I really do like how my pterodactyl guy turned out, um, I'm not going to use him on this card. I do die cut him out, and I'll save him, and I will use him on a different card, um, along with the tufts of grass and also the volcano, which is so cute. It just, it didn't, I didn't have room on my card at, at the end of the day. So... The grass was the problem because I had already used, um, you know, some shades of green to create it. So then when I decided to make all of the dinosaurs green, I was like, well, I can't repeat that shade of green because that's the grass. And then I didn't even end up using the grass on this card. So, <laughs> but I did. Don't worry. I did. I did color all the dinosaurs. They're nicely colored in their different shades of greens and teals. Um, nothing to worry about there. <laughs> As you can tell, I also wipe off my marker 
and my water brush on my finger. Can you see all that color there? <laughs> because when I'm using the lightest color marker to blend out the rest of the you know area I'm coloring, because these are water-based markers, it will grab some of the color onto the tip of the lightest marker. So I just wipe it on my finger to get it off of the tip. And by the time I'm done coloring, um, I have a rainbow hand. <laughs> And that's, I don't know, honestly, I don't know why I started doing that. I have a piece of, um, I always have a piece of paper towel right next to me to um, dry off my water brush. Um, I just use my finger. <laughs> and today I use my thumb. You can see it a little bit. Um, I don't know. That's just something quirky that I do. <laughs> So now that everything's colored, I'm just using some post-it tape and the same images that I'm going to be using in my Magic Picture Changer. I'm stamping the images onto the post-it tape and then I'm going to fussy cut it out and I'll use that on top of these images when I do some ink blending. Um, I cut out the um, fussy cutting because it's, it's boring. I cut along the black line. <laughs> You'll see. See, you can see them in the top corner. That's how they came out. Um, I'm using Abandoned Coral picked raspberry, and dried marigold distress inks for the background of my card. You may get sick of these colors because I use them <laughs> for the main background, the card base here. I also use it for the um, Magic Picture Changer add-on cover frame. And I also use these colors, as you can see, on the parts of the Magic Picture Changer mechanism themselves. <laughs> there, I I used them so much on this card. I ink blended all the things in the same colors, but it's so easy. So I just put the masks I made onto my images, ink blend right over it. Um, it's so easy, and the post-it tape works perfectly. Doesn't stick to the background or pull up the image at all, which is why I use the post-it tape. And once it's done, I just uh, use a little X-Acto knife to pick up the masks, and it's like a whole surprise waiting for you. <laughs> so now I'm just um, placing my Magic Picture Changer uh, mechanisms over my cards. <laughs> and voila, they're die cut. So I'm going to use some very thin double-sided tape along the sides of my Magic Picture Changer die cut, the insides and the outsides. So there's four pieces of tape. Then I'm going to fold all over the edges. Now my paper I used was pretty thick. I used 110 pound cardstock. And so it was not easy to <laughs> fold over these tiny edges. As you can see, that line is not straight at all. It doesn't end up mattering in the end because I cover it up, but um, a thinner cardstock maybe it would have been a better choice. And then I forgot to um, ink blend the very tops of this, the the pull tab. So I just used a little bit of abandoned coral and picked raspberry again to bring up that color. Um, here I am intertwining the Magic Picture Changer pieces and I'm just using the bottom left corners and tucking them into each line on the piece of paper behind it. Honestly, I don't know the best way to explain that, but let me show you one more time a little bit slower. So I'm taking the pointy part of the open die and tucking it into each corner on the magic picture changer behind it. And that keeps the corners locked in. Now, right now it's not completely closed, so it's not going to work. Um, it's going to come up a little bit, but I just tuck it right back in and I am ready to close it up. And by doing that, I just take the tape off the other sides, fold it over like a sandwich and use my bone folder to close it up and it works much better. <laughs> and as you can see, you can't tell that I didn't line it up completely <laughs> when it, once I put on the frame. Um, I am using the pull tab from the Magic Picture Changer add-on, same colors, picked raspberry, band and coral. And then I am backing the pull word with some black cardstock so that it pops and then attaching it to the pull tab. And that will make it easier and um, easier, easier. That's the only word. <laughs> easier for the recipient to know what to do. <laughs> now I'm going to use some glue just on the corners and the short sides of this rectangle to add my frame on top. And 
Uh, I have to wiggle it around a little bit. <laughs> but look at that. Easy peasy. And it works. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> and now I'm going to ink blend the ground of my card for my dinosaurs. Um, I start with really long pieces that I die cut from white cardstock. And I'm like, let me cut these down to the actual card size. So that's why I stepped away. And I'm just using vintage photo at the bottom and a little fossilized amber distress ink at the top and doing that for both layers. This one was die cut with the stitched hillside borders and the other one was die cut with the puffy cloud borders. But I thought that looked kind of like a good little, you know, I don't know if I the right word, textury ground for the dinosaurs. Anyway, I'm splattering some water on top and also ink color um, on top to make it look like dirt. I'm using walnut stain, vintage photo, and fossilized amber. And then I'm also going to use a little white acrylic ink to splatter on top too so it looks like, you know, sand. And that's basically what the card is going to look like. Um, I had to put it together in my mind and that's how I knew I wasn't going to use those extra pieces you see up there. And I'm taking the main sentiment from the dad jokes and heat embossing it onto a banner from fancy wavy banners and uh the cool thing about clear stamps is you're able to m move the sentiments to fit a wavy banner perfect <laughs> i love how it came out and i'm just using the lawn fun glue to attach all of my images nothing is popped up because the pull um, the magic changer picture die itself is so thick. Um, the ground itself will be popped up with foam tape because it does cover a lot of the, um, magic picture changer. So I am popping that up with foam tape, but everything else is being glued directly to the card because there's already a lot of dimension and, and fun going on with the interaction. And, um, I use all the things adhesive. <laughs> <laughs> this card's not going anywhere, people. <laughs> and I'm just trimming off the sides of my card for where everything overlaps. And then I'm going to glue this little dinosaur down in between some of the tufts of dirt and use a cloud on the side that had been trimmed from the other side. And then I think lastly, I'm just going to attach the banner and the card is done. I just have to put it on an actual card base. And guess what? My tape runner won. <laughs> I did not win. I was trying, I was folding over my card base, putting some tape on it, and then my tape runner just exploded with tape everywhere. The joke says, what do you call a sleeping dinosaur? And after you pull the magic picture changer, it says a dino snore. <laughs> so fun and funny. I love the joke. <laughs> and especially that it's for a dad anyway thanks so much for joining me i hope you laughed along too have a great day bye